Hey, we're here in my shop today, and uh, I am restoring this this particular guitar. Uh, I would say was the most is the most difficult restoration slash refinishing job I have ever done. It kicked my ass all the way down the line at every step. Uh, first of all, let me explain. It had been previously refinished in a black nitro lacquer. Uh, originally it was red from the factory and whoever refinished it before really abused the heck out of it. Over sanding, look at this, I don't know if you can see this, in a lot of areas they sanded right through the veneer to the cross grain veneer underneath. You can see one example there, here's another, some more. Even even on the edges of the horn there, you'll see it. And not only that, look at this. They sanded right through the holly on the headstock overlay. Pathetic. Uh, my customer and I now refer to this previous refinisher as Mr. 60 Grit. Anyway, um, on top of all these things, oh yeah, and the binding had to be replaced. It was the guy actually sanded so aggressively that he sanded right through the binding at this place, at this spot right here. So I replaced the binding on both sides. Um, what else? Oh yes, uh, another problem was <clears throat> that the, uh, the stain, the original red stain, was so deep in the veneers that I was not able to get it out. I tried everything. Um, and I didn't want to, and because the guy previously had sanded through the veneer in a lot of spots, so you can see another spot where it sanded right through, uh, I couldn't take the chance of sanding through anymore. My customer originally wanted this to be refinished as a tobacco sunburst, but we can't do that because I can't get, like you can see some of that red stain, I can't get it out without uh, burning through a veneer layer. Uh, and even there, you see, this is where some of the old finish was cracked. And uh, the veneer started to uh, fall apart, to rot there in that spot. So we're going to do um, just a dark brown back, sides, and neck. And I was able to get enough. I was able to get enough of the red stain off the center of the guitar, the center of the guitar face, that uh, we'll be able to do a tobacco burst. A couple more things to point out. There were holes drilled for uh, many toggle switches. As you can see, they had to be patched. And um, the binding in spots is so thin, it's almost sanded right through. Uh, again, you know, a major crime on a, on a piece like this. Now, once I started uh, trying to refinish it, what happened was that um, the old finish was cracked and broken through in a, in a number of spots, which meant that anything that, any, any wax or silicones used in uh, polishing compounds on the guitar got into the wood, actually into the veneer of the, of the guitar, making the, my refinishing job subsequently extremely difficult because I was getting fish eyes all over the place. Uh, I tried fish eye flow out and getting the combination of uh, fish eye flow out ratio to lacquer was so critically precise that unless it was absolutely precise fish eyes uh, were just not going away. I, I had to I had to spray, strip, spray, strip a number of times before I found the exact right combination of fish eye flow out uh, material to the uh, to the finish, but now I've got it, and uh, and it's going to be good. This guitar tried to kick my ass, but I win. <laughs>